Tell us a little about your portfolio. Why so few names? Um, you know, obviously there has been some rumors of the performance uh, up 6% uh, for the first quarter. I know you can't say that's accurate or not accurate. With most of um, your portfolio up double digits, uh, one down to double digits, which we'll talk about. But give us uh, just a take on why so few names and um, so for a bunch of reasons, I mean, I've always had the view that, uh, you know, why, why not own the best 10 or 11 investments as opposed to ideas 12 through 25 or 12 through 100, which is more typical. And, uh, you know, I think there are very few great investments at any one time. So the ability to concentrate is an enormously valuable asset of a strategy. Uh, the problem with it is most, uh, it leads to bumpier returns and it, it, it leads to uh, more attention on, on mistakes or things that aren't going well. You know, I, I don't know a portfolio manager that doesn't have a stock that's down in his portfolio, right? But you don't read articles about, uh, I mean, we're getting an awful lot of attention for a pretty high profile situation that's, uh, that's struggling. Um, but I think there's, uh, you know, it depends on what your business model is. But if you want to make high rates of return over a long period of time, it's hard to do that being very diversified. I mean, if you, you look through the Forbes 400, wealthiest people in the world, um, most of them uh, made their fortune in one business or a portfolio of two businesses. Very few made it in a portfolio of a hundred. So it's, it's that and the other benefit it allows you to run a much simpler uh, investment firm. We have an eight-person investment team. Uh, if we had 30 names we couldn't manage that portfolio the way we do with a small team. By having a small team 